Harris gone off and decided just to leave everybody else to play, including Vincenzo Nibali. This So 2013, I'm doing Torino Adriatico. It was the rainy, wet, nasty stage. Stage six, six or seven, I can't remember. I think stage seven, but the rainy, real nasty stage, like they just finished this year. It was almost identical to that stage. It was nasty, cold, freezing. And because it was so wet and the, the climbs were so steep, I have to, I always stand, I don't sit. And because I stand, I have to lean way back so it changed my, my pedaling style on the bike so that the back wheel doesn't spin. Um, and so it caused – so I had IT band friction syndrome. Uh, you have a – from the top of your hip, just below your knee, there's a band that runs along your leg. And that, that band started rubbing on the knee like here. So it was here that got inflamed to – to I, I raced Catalonia and I dropped out the first day. Then I had to take two weeks off the bike, started training. It came back again, started training again. It came back again. Finally, I went to Phoenix, Arizona and I saw a specialist and they have a surgery called 10 X 10 X surgery. And it was new, really, really new. Um, and so they go in, they go in to where, where the the scar tissue on the band here is inflamed and they go in with an ultrasound machine and they cut all the inflammation and then they cut all the rough stuff and then they they kind of inflame it a little bit so the body knows it has to heal that spot on top of that they they inject uh uh, uh blood platelets into it so i can't remember what that's p uh prp i think it's called where they take they they take the the blood out and then they spin the platelets and then they inject the healing platelets into the knee. And so um so they do the surgery. It's probably 3 weeks before I could start to train at all and then another 3 weeks before you can train good. I could train like 2 hours easy but never hard, huh? So all I did was just diet, 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 eat salads, eat salad all day. It was, it was, it was ugly. <laughs> I mean, it was not fun, huh? I mean, it, I love bike racing, but dieting for six, two months, three months turns into, that wasn't fun. Um, when I'm at home at my San Diego house, I'm watching the Tour de France now because I was supposed to do, uh, Dolphin. At first, I was going to do the Giro. Then I was supposed to do Dolphin A. And then I was supposed to do the Tour de France, but I can't do any of them, right? So I'm at home watching the Tour de France. I'm 41 years old. My contract is finished at the end of the year, and I'm getting emails about all the new guys they're signing on the team for next year. But I'm not getting any emails or telephone calls from the team asking me how I'm doing. No one from the team called me to ask me how I'm doing. So I'm at home for basically three months, four months, something like that. And nobody's calling. The team's not calling to check on me. The directors aren't calling. The sponsors aren't calling. Uh, so, okay. It's obvious. I'm 41 years old. I can't, do any bike races and my knee is bad. So no one's going to sign you with a contract, right? So I have to ride good at Utah because I want to do tour of Spain. So I go to Utah. I, I mean, I'm the lightest I've ever been super thin. Uh, I get, I get to Utah and I win one stage. I have the leader's Jersey. We win the team classification. I finish second overall. And I still don't know for sure if I'm going to the tour, if I'm going to tour of Spain, I'm telling the team, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to do the tour of Spain. And they're like, wow. Well, okay. Yeah. We might be able to make it happen. And I'm leaving Utah. Like, no, no, no. I'm, I'm going to tour of Spain. I get back to my San Diego house and three, four days later, the team finally calls me and we're about five days from the tour of Spain starting. And the team calls me up 
and they say, okay, we're going to take you to tour of Spain. Where do you want to fly from uh, to fly out? And I go, I already booked my ticket. <laughs> and they're like, the team's like, what? You already booked your ticket? I was like, yeah, I already booked my ticket, man. I'm not waiting for you guys. I mean, <laughs> I, I booked my ticket a long time ago because I knew I'm going. <laughs> and so when I showed up at Tour of Utah, they had the wrong bike for me. Uh, I, w- I started the season riding the Damani. When I was at home, Trek made me ride the Madone. And so when I get to the tour of Utah, they have the wrong bike for me. They have the Damani, but I ride the Madone. It's a completely different bike. Oh, uh, and so I brought, luckily I brought my training bike from my San Diego house to Utah so I could keep riding the same bike. Now, when the team calls me, they say, okay, you're doing, you're doing a uh, tour of Spain. And I say, okay, I got my flight. Can you make sure the team has the correct bike for me? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll have the correct bike. This no, no problem. For sure. We're going to have the correct bike. I said, no, no, no. You don't understand. They didn't have the correct bike at Utah. Can you make sure they have the correct bike at Tour Spain? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. You'll have the correct bike. I hang up the phone. I look at my wife. Let's bring my training bike, will you? 